copy that, copycat. Oh, we're filming. Welcome to the storage unit. We are pulling some orders. I pulled a couple the other day uh, real fast. We had a Shark Season 1 sell, $5 plus shipping. We had a Harley Davidson t-shirt, I think it was brand new, Skull Glitter, $12 plus shipping. A Mac Tools tiny little uh, quarter inch extension, so $9 plus shipping. Then we had the vintage steel engraved sign that you picked up like for four bucks, sold instantaneously for 45 plus shipping. Then Vibrant five finger water shoes sold for $35 uh, plus shipping. They're the weird ones where your fingers, fingers, your toes go in the shoes yeah. and it looks like a glove. I don't know if I would like that. What if it's, like I got a big fat, big toe. I bet you it wouldn't fit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't know. I got like I have little... to get it specially ordered. Specially ordered for big, fat, <laughs> big toe feet. Anyway, moving on. Uh, vintage green gold tone perfume lock. It's sold $19 plus shipping. Now we're back to these. 70 bucks for a pair of Atom clubs. We actually picked these up at a um, Goodwill the other day for $4 a piece. So you got 12 bucks in. So $12 into 70 Ain't too shabby. Margaret, thank you so much. You bought the, uh, the shoes. Wizard of Oz. We're not in Kansas anymore. No, we're not. We're no, we're not. And we do appreciate that. A Simmons scope, uh, like a spotting scope. I actually found this in my closet. Don't know where it came from. Is this yours? <laughs> not mine. We got to talk about it then because this ain't mine. I don't remember this anyway, but we found it in the closet and sold it for $12 plus shipping. And then we had a piece of a gold uh, necklace actually sold for $103 plus shipping for scrap. Very easy to sell gold online. We do it now all the time if we ever find gold. La Quisette sold $15 plus shipping. Uh, they also, the same person bought that, bought this. Appreciate $11 plus shipping. And then we had the mask, the vintage art decoration mask, ceramic glazed beard wizard. Wish you could see the picture. He looks just like me. Uh, $25 plus shipping on that. We had a Titleist that needed a grip. Again, you gotta kinda deduct like 10 bucks. This is like a 25 to 30 dollar club. We took 15 dollars plus shipping for the Titleist because it does need a grip on it. And then nine dollars for this one socket plus shipping. They spent like 14 bucks on this shop socket. Hmm. It is a uh, Craftsman 22 12 point USA made. And see, people are always like, well you can go to, you can go to Lowe's and get a socket for 10 dollars or 4 dollars or something like that. Not this one. This one's made in the United States. It's a G series, so I'm guessing the guy lost a socket, and you just say you can't buy this one anymore. You know where you can buy it? From me on eBoo. <laughs> so that's all we got right now. It's, our sales are kind of slow. Uh, yesterday we did pretty good, well over three or four hundred bucks. Today has been crickets. Wish you could yeah, trip, trip. get the sounds. <laughs> trip, trip. So we're going to pack this stuff up, ship it out. At the storage unit, we got some sales. Not a lot of sales, but just happy for the ones we got. Brooks Shoes, $30 hairs, plus shipping heading out. Brooks are actually pretty good. They sold fairly fast. We picked them up, though, for 8 bucks. So uh, we like to triple our money on shoes. These were very clean, and shoes are actually easy to ship. And not too hard to list if they're clean. If they're dirty, you just got to make sure the shoes are worth the clean. And a lot of shoes are not worth the clean. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, cleaning shoes is not that fun. It ain't glamorous. You got your hand in somebody else's foothold for a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's not the best thing in the world. But some shoes are worth the clean, and we do definitely clean them. Uh, GE, this is impressive. This actually sold a uh, VCR with the remote, and that sold for 40 bucks. Usually GE uh, VCRs don't go for that much money, but it helps when you have the remotes to them they it goes up in value like exponentially at least 10 to 15 bucks you can buy the 15 bucks but people don't want to have to go through the hassle of buying a remote we sell plenty of things without remotes it will still sell but if you have the remote it sells a lot faster and for more money uh back for blood it's some sort of video game so for 12 dollars plus shipping and then a we got this for five bucks this guy was just getting rid of stuff at his house remember yeah out in conway and uh is a french truck french french Fry. fry maker so the potato goes in here and then you shove it out and makes french fries and uh, they sold for twenty dollars plus shipping it's heavy most everything went in the shipping some of these go for more than that but really this is a good one this one's from new star and it's a pretty decent one it has little suction cups on the bottom so it doesn't move or anything like that when you're doing the 
So that's pretty good. Then our biggest sale is the Orvis. You actually found this. It is a Orvis book bag. It's like a fishing book bag. It has like a hard backing on it right here. It's got like a net here. And um, you know, I don't know what she does back here. A net. <laughs> Took you a while. So, uh, so for $65 plus shipping, this book bag new goes for like 150 or 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. So used at $65. Any type of book bag that has a name, this one's the Anglers right here, usually it's gonna be worth the look up. If we ever find a book bag that has a name attached to it or a name printed on it somewhere, we we'll usually look it up because fancy book bags have names. This one's name is Annette. At the store, Judah, on your birthday. Yay! Happy birthday! Woo! We did take most of the day off. We went, what did yes. you want to do on your birthday? I wanted to get plants. We went plant shopping all day long. Plant shopping. And we went to Chick-fil-A this And morning. we went to Chick-fil-A and we're going to a fancy dancy dinner tonight. Yes, we are. High class dinner. So, but before we do that, got to feed the machine of eBay. So we are here. Real quick, we'll go over some sales. This one right here is a Panasonic Omnivision. They're the good ones. This one actually has the original box. It does have also the remote inside. And this one sold for $56 plus shipping. This is one of your favorite things to ship, isn't it? <laughs> VCRs? Absolutely. Absolutely. Then we also had somebody buy one of these uh, little Mac tool screwdrivers, $7.65 plus shipping. And then Bruce lit up the store. You bought a book from Franklin Library. We actually bought those a while back. Then we listed a whole bunch of brass stuff. This is actually a brass inkwell with a glass insert in it, so that was pretty cool. This one is the Thinking Man, and it is a magnifying glass or jeweler's loop or whatever you want to call it, and uh, that is also made of brass. Bruce bought that. Bruce bought an extra large Levi jacket, which is super nice, and also a nice redhead shirt. Also another Mac tool screwdriver right there, and a router. And when you buy stuff like this from us, like a whole bunch, what happens is, is that Kayla usually takes over at this point and she packs mm -hmm. all these together. Mm -hmm. She then gets the uh, label on pirate ship because that we always use pirate ship. And then what she does is she goes back onto eBay and then she refunds you the rest of the money that was over it. Yes. So we see exactly how much it's going to be. We refund you the rest of it. And uh, so we combined all shipping. So that works out pretty good. And then An Angela, you bought a candle snuffer. That's so cool. I we remember when we bought this. We had no, no idea, idea what it was. We I were like, it was so cool. we have it, it. It's. I still don't understand how it works. To be quite honest with you, just are you using it this way, maybe. Yeah. What is the point for? To In get the case wick. You need to. In case get you need to stab somebody, just. <laughs> Then also we want to apologize. We did send out a wrong shirt the other day and it just got to the person and this is your right shirt. Turns out I have it in my hand and the one you have is not the one that should be in your hand. So we're sending this to you obviously for free and uh, keep the shirt you have and we much, much say we're sorry. Yes. Things happen though. That's the thing. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. And I watch some YouTubers that are like, we've never made a mistake. That's an impossibility. Yeah. If you ship out enough things and you know what it happens is, is that we probably got into a rush and it was a Harley Davidson shirt with the Z1 written on it. And one of us, I think it was actually me, probably just grabbed it, boop, stuck it in a bag and that was the end of it. So th mistakes do happen. We just try to rectify them very quickly and then make sure that the buyer is happy because it is 100% our mistake. We usually do a refund, give them the other item for free and then they can keep whatever we sent them. Yes. Which so, But we mistakes do happen. We try to mitigate that by taking our time but sometimes we you know we are, we're doing a lot of things, so we do apologize for that. And all this stuff is going to be packed up and shipped out at the storage unit. And sales are trickling in at best, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and start. Fifteen dollars for some watch parts. They were like the old steampunk watches, brass gears to go to old watches. Bought a lot of them for like a dollar at a yard sale, so for fifteen dollars plus shipping. This little guy right here sold for eight fifty. That's pretty cool. Pair of pants sold actually fairly quickly. The Desert Dunes. We've actually never heard of that brand. Pre-owned pants sold for 20 bucks. So they're like performance, kind of like spandexy feeling type of pants. So if you're out there, there might be a little bolo burn. 20 bucks for a pair of pants selling in within a week is pretty good. Ryobi, $15 plus shipping. The Bargain Buyer, thank you so much. Bought a DS game from us. We much appreciate it. $18 hairs for a double XL. 
Harley Davidson zip up. Uh, women's Myrtle Beach, lightweight. That's sold for $18 plus shipping, and then $10 for some cool looking Clemson mugs. And that's all we got. Like, it's been pretty slow in eBay land. Uh, we have everything promoted at Dynamic. We haven't ran a sale. We'll probably do it this, uh, actually, probably starting Friday. We're going to sale Friday and Saturday. And then go from there. We, I mean, we've been listing some good stuff, so I'm kind of confused why we're not selling nothing. We'll find, we'll see.